give us an idea about this week and, and how the guys have looked? Uh, really good practices. Um, obviously, the, having the bye week and all that, getting our, our bodies back a little bit, their legs definitely uh, bouncing around really well, playing fast. Uh, yesterday was a real physical day. Today was a fast day, and tomorrow back them down. And uh, I think they've been really sharp mentally and, and physically. So it's been a good week. Do you get a, a sense? You guys have so much on the line this week. Uh, a game, uh, Stanford a rivalry week, a, a chance to go to a bowl. You get a sense that the guys are kind of compartmentalizing everything. Well. Yeah, yeah, they uh, are obviously aware of the situation, and uh, yeah, that's you can use that emotion in a really good way. So uh, we're all for that. And what's most important is is how we focus and prepare. And uh, they've been really good in that regard. So I think there's definitely you know sense of urgency, and and guys are aware of the situation, which is good. When you, I mean, your first stint here, your first few big games was as a linebackers coach. When, when you got here, when you talked with Jordan Kanash, what did, you, what, what did you see in him just as a as a, as a guy, the way his head works as a, as a Jordan Kanash? Yeah. Yeah, so Jordan, um, he's done a really good job. I mean, he's kind of built to play the position uh, in a lot of ways, physically, mentally. He's a physical guy. He, he loves contact. He's into the game. Um, I think he, you know, everything – uh, the preparation part, meetings. He's always up watching extra tape. Uh, you know, the way he prepares his body. Uh, I think he's just, you know, he's a football player you know, through and through, and he's still getting better. And I think the more reps and he kind of understands the defense and what the offense is trying to do, the better and better he's going to play. Is he kind of a key to, to trying to stop love? And is, is well, the, everybody's a key. Right. But yeah, but everybody's but, key because but, uh, it's going to take team defense. You know, obviously. His position, uh, you know, those guys are going to be involved in a lot of plays, uh, being the inside linebacker, the Mike linebacker, uh, but it's going to it's going to take a, a team effort. I was going to ask about a, another linebacker who maybe doesn't get the reps, but but I think represents you guys pretty well, uh, David Ortega. Um, yeah. what, what have you thought of, of him and the way he works? Fantastic job. I mean, he, I've known little Dio yeah, for yeah. a long time uh, when he was a youngster, and known uh, you know, Dave. Uh, since my, my uh, first stint here, and really, really a great family. And uh, David, young David, he, uh, he, he understands the game. Yeah, he, he's got great instincts. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he practices really hard. His teammates really respect him. Uh, he loves Cal. He loves being a part of the team, and you know, we're thrilled to have him. Did I hear right that you let him break it down at the end of practice the other day? Yeah, yeah. he's earned that. I mean, I, like I said, he works his, his tail off, and um, he hasn't got to play as much as I'm sure he would have liked, but um, just a, a cowl guy through and through. And uh, like I said before, I, you know, he's got the respect of his teammates, and that's always a really good measure of, of people and the way he works, uh, the way he approaches the game. I mean, you know, he's on scout team and he's on scout kickoff and special teams, and he gives a great look. And I uh, got a chance to get in the game uh, against Wazoo, and I mean, he's a guy that knows you know, kind of every position at linebacker, and, and uh, he's like the Swiss Army knife there and can always help us out. So just thrilled to have him on the team. He's a great kid. I know you know that that family well, yeah. and they, they're so loved around here. Do you get a, a sense for that, kind of how the, the community around here appreciates them? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Dave, uh, you know, obviously being the, the, the player he was here and then being a part of the Cal community for so long, and uh, he – he bleeds it. Their family bleeds it, and it's it's evident. And they're, uh, you know, they've do they've done so much for Cal and uh, supported the program in different ways. And obviously, both of them now, you know, being a part of the football team and uh, just a really a really a neat family. And uh, I know I sure appreciated uh, them when I was when I first got here as a young coach, and and still do to this day. And it's great having David on the team. With the kind of. Thing. Enormity of the week with the big game and bowl eligibility and all that stuff on the line. Do you find it difficult to kind of keep them compartmentalized, or do you find them kind of keeping it? Yeah, we don't use that word. <laughs> First it's of all, too hard to yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Nor one more time. <laughs> What'd you call it? No, no, compartmentalized. Yeah. I get. Okay. What was the first one you used? I. Enormity. Enormity. Yeah, we don't use yeah, that enormity. one. But yeah, I understand. Everybody understands uh, kind of what's at at stake, mm -hmm. um, and that's. You know, you can use that emotion and that energy in a really good way, but you're exactly right. Keeping compartmentalized and focusing on practice and meetings and everything that we're doing, uh, that's what it's going to take for us to play well, and that's what we want to do. So I think as long as you use that energy in a good way and you, and you use it to focus on what you're doing in that moment, 
then it's a really good thing. And I think we've done a good job of that. The guys on the team have done a good job of that. So. Uh, the staff is going to get a real beast in the middle of the nose tackle. How do you cope with a guy like that? Do you have to try to avoid him? You double team? What do you? All of the above. <laughs> he's a, he is a beast. He's a really really good player, and uh, it's hard to block. He's hard to block with one guy, and uh, gets off of blocks. He makes tackles. He's not just a, a space eater, so to speak. I mean, he gets off blocks and is very very productive. He's run and pass game. So uh, we got a ton of respect for him, and you got to do it in different ways. Absolutely. You ever seen a defense where the, the defensive tackle is not not just has that many tackles, but leads the defense in tackles? Uh, yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, I'd be, I don't know if. I, I've seen some really good D linemen, and he's definitely one of them. Uh, really, really good player, and just got a ton of respect for how he plays the game. He plays hard. He's a very uh, physical guy, and uh, you notice him in every phase. You know, run game, pass game, movement, just playing two gap type defense, and he's a yeah, he's a really, really good player. So, how do you simulate him out here? Well, we uh, do, do the best job we can, and then uh, you had mentioned it before. You got to. You know, give yourself some help in there at times, and um, kind of mix up how your how your uh, your blocking schemes and all that. And you know, we got a ton of respect for him and, and their defense and team. But it's really going to be more, you know, like like it always is, more about how we execute and how we play, and that's what we're concerned with. Having the bye week does that make it easier, maybe, to mess with your blocking? Adjust your blocking schemes. Well, Coach Greatwood has yeah. has done it for so long, and Coach Baldwin, they'll have a you know have a good plan in place, and. Um, you know, uh, I, I think uh, trust in our training, and we're not going to create, you know, brand new offense in one week. But there are certain things that we'll do game plan wise, and like we do every week, and give us the, the best advantage we can in in run or pass game. So, all right, good, thank you, Good. Right. good. Okay.